all right welcome scorpios welcome back to the oceans tarot garden i'm so glad that you're a garden babe all it takes to be a garden babe is to like and subscribe so make sure you go ahead and hit that like button now so we're gonna go ahead and see what this week has for you then we're gonna get into a quick message from spirit all right so we're gonna see what's going on with scorpio for this week all right so let's see What's going on with Scorpio this week? All right, I'm seeing a couple of major arcanas popping out here for you guys. So it could be some major things that's riffracking inside this week. All right, that's beautiful. We have the world that's closing it out and we have the King of Cups in here. So I do feel like <clears throat> you guys could be in a good sense of energy or just feeling like you have more control of things going on within your life this week. All right. All right. So let's see what we have. We do have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like you guys are feeling well connected to self. And if you're in a relationship, you're feeling well connected with that individual. You guys can finally be on the same, you know, the same little level pathway or whatever. But anyway, so let's go ahead and see. In the position of number one, we have what you need to focus on. We have the King of Cups, which is the control card right now. And I just feel like making sure that you are in control of your emotions this week. That's something that you want to focus on. And focusing in on making sure that you are paying attention to the things that you need to do. So if you guys need to be setting a schedule, go ahead and do that. Um prioritize is what's coming to me you guys really need to make sure that you're prioritizing what's important all right and i do feel that you need to focus on realizing another person's body language towards you or something it's like some kind of significance there that is going to show you uh somebody might be trying to control expressing their feelings towards you or different things like that this could be romantic this could just be um you know somebody trying to hide something from you friends co-workers or whatever but it's just like you're going to be picking up on the energy and picking up on the body language so you really need to pay attention to those around you during this week and the things to ignore you do have the ace of cups which is love and i just feel like you know what I do know that there are past people that are going to be trying to reach out to you or people who are trying to think about you. And I just feel like, you know what, you can ignore them. I'm also feeling like you guys have taken enough time for yourself. So they also want you to make sure that you're showing love and appreciation to other people as well and ignore being kind of like in a selfish mode. Okay. And what well, they're saying, like 10% of you guys, you have been giving a lot of your time, energy, and um, expressing a lot lately. <clears throat> okay. So they do want to make sure that you're also getting that reciprocated as well. All right. Somebody's saying not to focus on your looks too much this week as well. All right. So in the possible, possible outcomes in a positive manner, you do have the magician here. So I do feel like things are going to start working out for you. Things are starting to flow in for you this week. Magical things, okay? These are things that you cannot see that are aligning for you or getting ready for you to move forward. You are also being very, very powerful. With this control card right here, this Ace of Cups, it's just making me feel like a lot of you guys are stepping to the forefront and you're diving into the things that you want. You guys could be trying different things this week. Um, take an initiative as well. I do feel like you guys are going to be mixing things up. You're really feeling yourself. You're really feeling your energy. You're feeling really confident and vibrant, creative. And I just see you guys stepping out of your comfort zone and going towards things. All right. And the things to ignore, like I said before, you're going to be a past person here. So you have the six of cups. They want you to not get too wrapped up in um, any past persons that are coming towards you. Okay. I just, they want you to be aware of these individuals coming towards you and trying to distract you as well. With this Six of Cups, I, I feel like they also want you to ignore um, reminiscing too much or thinking back too much and kind of being in the present state of mind, okay? Uh, with the control with the King of Cups over this Six of Cups, there could be a masculine energy and you can kind of be pondering 
on some situations that you had with them relationship wise maybe there wasn't enough love there somebody didn't reciprocate something but um i feel like you could be thinking about that and i feel like getting a little irritated and angry this could be a significant other once again uh, well past significant other this could be father figure cousin brother whatever it may be but i do feel like you're going to be reminiscing about this a little bit and i also feel that there are people who are wanting to come in and communicate with you with this hierophant. I do feel like this could be an older individual as well. All right. In the place of blessings, you have the hierophant. Okay. So I do feel like you're being led. It's right underneath the ace of cups. So I'm feeling like this week right here, all relationships are going to be in a good vibration. A lot of love, a lot of nurturing, a lot of caring going on. I feel like everything is just leveled out. Everything is flowing good between you and your person, okay? I also feel like this could be work-related as well. I just feel like um, things could just be flowing really good for you guys this week. And the last position you have, um, just a piece of advice. You have the world card right here, and they just want you to focus on moving forward, okay? And focus on uh, where, where you're exerting your powers or your energy and things like that and you're focusing your attention i feel like they really want you to pay attention and try new things and just be vibrant and outgoing during this week okay they really want you to make connections and they really want you to connect with self okay i do feel like you guys could be in full alignment this week or trying to get into full alignment rebalancing yourself so make sure you're taking time to meditate as well all right so we're going to do a quick little message and see what spirit has to say for my Scorpios. All right. All right. We have the page of cups with the emperor here. So I feel like something that you've been wanting, it might've felt like it was un, like you couldn't obtain it or anything like that. Uh, with the king of coins, here, I feel like you guys are finally coming to common ground. Like I said before, uh, this could you be finally making the moves that you need to make in order to build the status. So some of you guys could be getting mentorship during this week to be able to create a status that you're looking for, or build these things that you're looking for. Some of you guys can finally have that new love or you can finally have gotten the person that you've been wanting to get. Things are starting to come together and work out here. And with this King of Coins, once again, I feel like you guys are in a comfortable energy all right, I do feel like this is a, give me like an older, younger, older, younger. Nobody's like in the same age type of thing here. All right, so you guys could be working or planning on what to do to move forward. All right, however, with this Emperor card here, I do see like there's a broken bridge and it just makes me feel like with this Page of Cups and the King of Coins, there's somebody that could be coming in here. Uh, whew. There's somebody controlling in a relationship, and I just feel that you guys could have had some kind of misunderstanding or there could have been a break between you guys. I do feel like this person is going to be reaching out to you to try to make things work and patch things up during this week as well. This isn't all bad, you know. Some conversations are needed. All right, with the Page of Cups and the Three of Wands, some of you guys could be thinking about moving forward with an individual right next to the Knight of Cups. I feel like you guys are, this isn't supposed to be a relationship reading. It's just, you know, about the week. But I do see a lot of things growing between you and this person. We have a Page of Cups. So there's like this new relationship. There's a lot of fire. Somebody has a lot of intention of really building something and growing something with another person. However, I do see this voodoo doll here in this page of cups, and it makes me feel like somebody on the outskirts can know or feel the vibration of you guys being happy and wanting to kind of torment that, break that apart a little bit next to this emperor card here. So this can be somebody who's kind of arrogant. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing like high tail fashion or whatever, high tail. This person feels like they can come in and uh, basically like kick all of your men off the chessboard and get the person that they want with this king of coins into the page of coins i feel like this person is just like uh this this no longer works out it's you know they're not looking to be comfortable or to settle anymore they're looking to start something and grow something new as well once again we have this three ones to the four ones to the snide of cups here and i just feel like a lot of loving energy a lot of excitement building up here oh with this judgment yeah so there's gonna be a lot of 
loving expressing that's going on. Somebody could finally be letting people know about this relationship with this moon card going into the sun. I feel like this is something that they might have been sheltering. They could be ready to uh, open up about a lot of things or open up about their emotions. I do feel like there's somebody who could be coming I, with this four of wands. It's making me feel like family, maybe. Um, somebody is looking to come in. A family member is looking to come in and express some kind of emotions with this child bearing woman here. This could either be one of your parents here who feels the need to express something. I'm hearing like some kind of important news, something that they've been kind of sheltering in and trying to come towards you. But they were kind of waiting for you to come towards them, but you really weren't making those moves. All right. So basically, the whole topic of this week for you, Scorpio, is you have a lot of great things going on. They don't they want you to make sure that you control your emotions. There's a lot of love and a lot of excitement that's going to be going on, especially if you're in relationships. There's a lot of outbursts of um when I say outburst, I don't want you to think of a negative thing, but a lot of outbursts of loving energy. There could be signs, people doing things to show that they appreciate you. There's a lot of gestures going in. I believe I said that last last week in the love reading. There's a lot of love gestures coming out here. Um, like I said, people are probably, y'all are ready to finally fully commit and, you know, dive deep into this. There's some conversations that are needing to be had as well. And then you still do have these people in the background who is not wanting you to be happy. That has been trickling on for months now. Uh, you might want to think about doing some kind of cord cutting or root uplifting to kind of get this person out of your energy and block them out. This person could also be kind of watching you from a dark page. I'm not going to say the dark web, but like a dark page, which is a hidden page, a fake profile or whatever, or they're just watching you. They're on your friend list and they don't have a lot of activity, but they are keeping up with what you have going on. All right. So if this resonates with you, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Scorpio, enjoy your week and be blissful.